The evidence thus far suggests that in the first few minutes after death, consciousness is not annihilated. Whether it fades away afterwards, we do not know. But right after death, consciousness is not lost. It's one of the great wonders of life. What will it be like to go to sleep and never wake up? Remembering that you are going to die is the best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. You will find out, it'll pose the next question to you, what was it like to wake up after having never gone to sleep? That was when you were born. I started getting depressed. I thought, what kind of purpose do I have to live? I mean, do you, are you just here to live to die? I mean, is there not a purpose for me? Is there not a purpose in life? And when you're ready to wake up, you're going to wake up. And if you're not ready, you're going to stay pretending that you're just a little, poor little me. I woke up and I suddenly got it. I suddenly felt, who is it that's aware that I'm thinking? And suddenly I was thrown into this expansive, amazing feeling of freedom. You suddenly see that there isn't a grain of dust in the whole universe that's in the wrong place. That you understand completely, absolutely, totally what it's all about. The experience you are having, which you call ordinary everyday consciousness, pretending you're not it, that experience is exactly the same thing as it. There's no difference at all. I saw that I was bigger than what I do. I was bigger than my body. I was everything and everyone. Take us through it. What, what happens to you as you find yourself submerged underwater? Well, I was submerged and the force of the water had me absolutely pinned to the front deck of the boat. This is while you're under the water with no air, with you, you can't breathe, you're, you're completely submerged. And at that time I gave my life over to God and truly and sincerely asked that God's will be done. And at that moment everything changed. I was very calm and peaceful and felt great and I had this very physical sense of being held and comforted and reassured that everything would be fine, regardless of whether I lived or died. I was no longer a fragment of the universe, I was the universe. Everybody is fundamentally the ultimate reality, the deep down basic whatever there is, and you're all that, only you're pretending you're not. Now I understand why we die. The reason we die is to give us the opportunity to understand what life's all about.